Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set your mail accounts to push or fetch on the iPhone 13 or the iPhone 13 Pro. First, let's go back to your home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. On your home screen, we go across and tap on settings. So tap on settings. And in settings, we're going to go down and tap on mail. Then we go down to accounts. And in here, tap on fetch new data. At the moment, it is set to push. So with push turns on, new data will be pushed to your iPhone from the server when possible. If we turn off push, it will instead try to fetch for new emails uh, based on a time period. So here we got fetch and the schedule below is used when push is off or for applications which do not support push. It said that for battery life, fetch less frequently. So here you got automatically, manually, half an hour, I mean, sorry, hourly, every 30 minutes or every 15 minutes. So with fetch, basically, it won't um, it won't uh, sync your emails uh, as soon as there is a new emails on the server. Instead, it will period periodically go to the server, check to see if there is any new emails. If there are new emails, then it will uh, download those new emails down to your phone. And because it does not frequently check uh, using the push methods, that means you can save batteries because every now and then the application wakes up and then it goes and it check for new emails, then it come back to your phone and it goes back to sleep. So if you want to save battery, you can use the fetch methods. But if you want to use push so that as soon as you as soon as someone sends you an email, it will automatically get pushed to your device. And in here, you can also go down to each account and manually set it to push or fetch or menu. So those are the different options uh, that you can choose. You can uh, set a global uh, push or fetch for all the accounts. And then in here, you can go down to each account and then you can set, and then you can manually set the push or fetch for each of the accounts. And that's it. Finally, you can swipe up to go back to the home screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.